Hello friends, and welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Julie Marie, and I'm so excited to see you today. Please join us every Thursday at 12 o'clock for new stories and activities. Now, grab a cozy spot, and let's begin. We're going to start with our Storytime song, just like we do at the museum. It goes to the tune of This Old Man. One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time with the Met, where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see, we'll use our ears to hear stories. Now take a seat and give a Let's begin with our first book. Good job, everyone. Our book today is called Grandma's Gumbo, and it was written and illustrated by Deborah Osley Kadar. Now, this book has a page that we're gonna see a lot. Every time you see these squares, can you read along with me? We're gonna say, just the thing to make it yumbo, all a part of Grandma's Gumbo. Can we read that together again? Just the thing to make it yumbo, all a part of grandma's gumbo. Great job. Let's get started. Grandma's gumbo. Something cold, something hot. Put it in my big black pot. In my pot that's oh so jumbo, just the size for grandma's gumbo. Have you ever had gumbo before? I wonder what goes in gumbo. Now it's time to make the roux. That's the first thing we must do. A little oil, some flour too. Let it simmer. Now it's through. What do you think she's doing over here? It seems like it's starting to bubble up. Two cups of rice will be just fine. We'll set it aside until we dine. Don't forget the pinch of salt, the boiling you don't want to halt. Halt is a really fancy word for stop. Saute some celery until it's tender. An excellent flavor it's sure to render. Add an onion, don't shed a tear. It's just the next ingredient, dear. I love all of the veggies that are going inside this gumbo. Oh, here we go. Can you read it with me? Just the thing to make it yumbo, all a part of grandma's gumbo. Let's do it again. Just the thing to make it yumbo, all a part of grandma's gumbo. Good job. Ooh, she's starting to check all of the ingredients in the pot. A green bell pepper for the reason of bringing out the perfect season. Okra and tomatoes will be just great. The flavor we want to regulate. Again. Just the thing to make it yumbo. All a part of grandma's gumbo. Jumbo shrimp, the seafood creature. Add some to this Creole feature. In go oysters by the bunch. They'll give the dish the extra punch. Just the thing to make it yumbo. All a part of grandma's gumbo. The crab into the pot must go. Make it fast so he won't know. Then comes green onions, chopped just right. Add some garlic, a cook's delight. Love garlic, makes everything smell great. <gasps> Let's go. Just the thing to make it yumbo, all a part of grandma's gumbo. Toss some parsley in the mix to help make sure the flavor kicks. Shake in some hot sauce, don't be shy. It'll be so good, you'll want to cry. 
Come and get it while it's hot. Scoop it right out of the pot. Top it, it off with a dash of filet. Ooh, yeah, yeah, is what you'll say. Last one. Just the thing to make it yumbo, all a part of Grandma's gumbo. Look how delicious that looks. Can we say it together one more time? Just the thing to make it yumbo, all a part of Grandma's gumbo. Great job, everybody. Thank you so much for reading that with me. Now, whenever I think of gumbo, I always think of someone cooking in a giant big pot. And at the Met Cloisters, there is a beautiful old cauldron. A cauldron is a huge black pot that you can cook lots of things in. In this cauldron that was made sometime between the 13th and 14th century, you'll see that it has four legs so that you can put it right into the fire and heat up whatever it is you're cooking. But if you want to change the temperature, there's also a really cool handle that you can hang at different heights. So you can put it in the fire and make it really hot, or you can raise it up a little so that it gets warm but not hot. I think Grandma would be super excited about regulating her heat. Now, it's been a really long time since I had gumbo, but I remember that it was at a big buffet where there was lots of yummy stuff and I can pick and choose whatever I wanted. Now, if you can choose anything to have, what would it be? Now, if you can have that with you all the time, wouldn't that be super exciting? Today, I decided to make a work of art that I can put some of my favorite foods and hang it on the wall so I have it with me all the time. If you have a paper plate and some different color paper, maybe you can do the same thing at home. What do you see that I've made here today? I have some mac and cheese, lots and lots of broccoli. I like to mix them together usually. And then you can't skip dessert. Dessert is essential. And of course, all dessert should have chocolate in it. It's my very, very favorite thing. Now, can you imagine a huge cauldron of ooey gooey mac and cheese? Oh, I think I need to go and start cooking right now. But before I do, I want to say thank you to all of you for joining me today. And I can't wait to see you again next week. Bye, everybody.